Good day to Dr. Lee Bichu. I am Wong Kin Ho, and I am going to present the variation of pedagogical style and its effects on language use in society. Here are my table of contents. First, let us look at the definition of pedagogical. This word comes from the word pedagogy, and it's a noun. It refers to the academic discipline that is concerned with the teaching processes. According to CARPRO 2020, it involves teaching method, teaching materials, and instructional strategies. Merriam-Webster Dictionary states that it is relating to or befitting a teacher or education. According to CARPRO 2020, it is also a key lever for bringing about improvement in the academic performance of the students. After looking at the definition of pedagogical, now let us look at the types of pedagogical style. Pedagogical style refers to the approach, methods, and strategies that a teacher employs to facilitate learning and the instruction in a classroom. Pedagogical style can be influenced by various factors, such as the teacher's educational background, training, beliefs about teaching and learning, cultural context, and the specific goals and needs of the learners. So right now, there are five types of pedagogical style, which is lecturer, demonstrator, facilitator, delegator, and hybrid. Lecturer will be our first pedagogical style we are going to look at. Lecturer refers to the teacher-centered approach of one-way communication from teacher to students. It is an authoritative style where it involves large group of students, like a college lecture course. It also involves a classroom online that accommodates a large number of students where there is no need to be on site. Next, let us look at a pro of this pedagogical style. It covers a lot of material quickly. However, there is a drawback for this style. There is lower retention rates of information as there is minimal active learning occurring. Next, let us look at a second pedagogical style which is demonstrator. Demonstrator mostly involves teaching centered but more open to student involvement. This is slightly different from lecturer as the teacher is still the formal authority, no doubt presenting the material, but the difference is they might ask engaging questions to start a discussion, which may include exercises and presentations. Facilitator will be our third pedagogical style we're going to look at. This style is student-centered approach, in which the teacher moves away from an authoritative role and instead facilitates discussions. This means that students are free to share their wisdom and use their problem-solving skills through inquiry-based learning. However, this approach might not work as well for theory-based or information-specific classes, as students will be based on their opinions to give their ideas and not based on facts. The fourth pedagogical style will be Delegator. This style is the most student-centric approach, and also it refers to as a group style. This style involves the teacher, however, the teacher only observes students in peer-to-peer -peer discussions and collaborations. Students will be the main character in the whole discussion as they will be the one to carry out discussions, to ask questions, and also to come to a conclusion for a certain topic. Last but not least, hybrid will be our, our fifth pedagogical style. This style is a balance between student-centered and teacher-centered approaches, and this style is actually one of my favorite styles, where it provides structure and flexibility adapting a lesson plan to activities that keep students engaged. Furthermore, let us look at the effects of pedagogical style on language use. Level of confidence in language use. First, engage themselves actively in conversations. Pedagogical styles that encourage active participation and communication, such as communicative language teaching, tend to promote greater fluency in language use. These styles prioritize meaningful interactions and real-world language use, allowing learners to practice and improve their speaking and listening skills. Second, vocabulary development. A teacher who emphasizes interactive activities, discussions, and real-life contexts may promote richer vocabulary development compared to a more traditional teacher-centered approach that relies heavily on textbooks. Third, Motivation of using the language. Pedagogical styles that create a positive and supportive learning environment can influence students' motivation to use language. When teachers employ student-centered approaches, provide constructive feedback, and promote a safe place for language practice, 
students are more likely to feel comfortable and motivated to engage in language use. The second effect of pedagogical style on language use is discourse formality. First, grammar and syntax. Pedagogical approaches that explicitly teach grammar rules and provide structured exercise can influence learners' understanding and application of grammat grammatical structures and syntax, giving them the ability to use language accurately, especially in a formal setting. Second, pronunciation and intonation. Pedagogical styles that emphasize phonetics, pronunciation drills, and oral practice can have a positive impact on learners' pronunciation and intonation. Teachers who incorporate activities like pronunciation exercise, role plays, and oral presentations can help students improve their spoken language skills and reduce pronunciation errors during meetings or interviews. Third, word choice in writing and speaking. Considering the formality of a situation, teachers who provide explicit instruction on writing or oral techniques can help learners to choose words that fits a situation. For example, jargon, slang, or dialect is used in an informal setting, whereas words with proper grammar and clear meanings are required in a formal setting. Lastly, let us look at the conclusion of the topic. There are five types of pedagogical style which are lecturer, demonstrator, facilitator, delegator, and hybrid. There are two effects on language use. First, level of confidence. Second, discourse formality. Before choosing a suitable pedagogical style, preparation is needed. Assessing students' background, knowledge, and interests, identifying their lacks and necessities. According to Renex So 2020, the goals of having a right pedagogical style is to provide them with more engaging teaching media and materials and pushing them to be autonomous learners. Let us look at the future outlook according to Jen et al. 2020. Innovative technologically integrated teaching can enhance this language teaching and learning process. So in a nutshell, the choice of pedagogical style should align with the educational goals, the nature of the subject matter, and the characteristics of the learners to create an effective and engaging learning environment. These are my references, page one and page two. That is all from me. Thank you very much.